Hello travelers, welcome to the largest community of travelers in Europe. I am sure that just like us, you've been wondering how to connect to the internet when you travel. Today, I will tell you how to have internet in Austria. How to have internet on your trip to Austria. If you're going on a trip to Austria and you're looking for the best option to connect to the internet as soon as you arrive at your destination, either to let your family know that you have arrived okay, to book an Uber when you get to the airport, or to use Google Maps to find your hotel. From Passporter, we want to tell you our experience with the different eSIMs available on the market, based on practicality, price, and amount of data. In the video, we will discuss what is an eSIM, how does it work, and what are its benefits. Which companies offer this service? What is the best option and how to use it? And what other options are there if my mobile phone is not eSIM compatible? What is an eSIM and how does it work? eSIM cards allow us to have internet on our mobile phone when we travel to Austria, without the need to remove our regular SIM card, as with conventional SIM cards. Some of the benefits are that it has a quick and easy installation by using a QR code. It is available for purchase from anywhere in the world in order to arrive to your destination with internet already, in case you want to talk to your family, book an Uber, work abroad, etc. The prices are more competitive compared to other options, such as roaming. Lastly, you won't have to change your SIM card in your mobile phone device, therefore avoiding problems with your WhatsApp number. Maybe at this point you have realized that eSIM is the option that best fits your trip to have internet in Austria. So let's talk about it. Which companies offer this service? In the eSIM market, there are companies such as Olafly, Aerolo, Nomad, or SIM options that offer the eSIM service. But before acquiring one, it is important to take into account the characteristics that will determine whether the card meets our needs for our trip to Austria. In our experience, we believe that we should consider several factors that will be relevant to our decision and on which we base our choice, such as the duration of the plan. How many days are we going to be traveling? Assistance included and whether it is personal and in our language. If they have an app to manage the data plan, the gigabytes they offer you per plan, preferably unlimited, the price and the availability of currencies to make the payment. How do I calculate the amount of data I will need for my trip to Austria? We know that it can be difficult to calculate the gigabytes you will need during your trip. So the best option is unlimited data but here is a table that will help you estimate the gigabytes you will need based on your usual consumption. Do I have the option to get unlimited data in Austria? When we travel, we don't want to run out of data in the middle of our holiday. That's why eSIM cards with unlimited data are the best option. In Austria, Olafly allows us to have unlimited data. That's why among all the factors that we're going to tell you about, we opted for them. Now that you know how much data you need, here's a table with each eSIM brand and all their services for you to compare and choose the option that best suits your trip. As you can see, some of these brands like Nomad only offer seven or 30 day plans, which is more expensive if our trip only lasts for 10 days, for example. Or SIM options, which offers a maximum of eight gigabytes, and it is practically a lottery to find a card that suits your trip, as they are a marketplace and have a lot to offer, but in case of any incident, it is very difficult to guarantee a good service to resolve the incident. You will soon realize which is the best option for us. And yes, it is Olafly. Why did we choose Olafly and how to use it? Since Passporter is an international community of travelers in which we require a good internet connection for each of our trips around the world, we explain why we always choose Olafly to stay connected to the internet in Austria. As you can see in the table, Olafly offers unlimited data in Austria. It gives you flexibility depending on the duration of your trip and destination. For example, for your trip to Austria, you have eight data plans from 19 to 99 euros depending on the duration. In addition, Olafly has a multi-destination plan. It offers an eSIM that allows you to stay connected in 32 European countries, including Austria, without the need to change the SIM card. The brand offers a 24-hour customer service in Spanish, English, German, French, Italian, and Japanese that responds in less than a minute by chat or WhatsApp. And that makes such a huge difference to us because in case of any questions or problems, we can always talk to someone that will help us out. It also allows you to make the payment in different currencies. 
such as Euro, Dollar, Canadian Dollar, Australian Dollar, Mexican Peso, Pound, Yen, and many others. It includes 60 minutes to make calls. Lastly, a good indicator to take into account is its customer rating on Trustpilot, with a score of 4.7 with the highest rating and the most qualified. If we compare it with other options, Olafly has more than 18,000 reviews. After our experience during our trips, we have come to the conclusion that they are the best value for money option on the market. Apart from the fact that at first glance, other options may seem cheaper, if you analyze them well though, based on what each one offers, Olafly's offer is the most competitive and profitable. If you also think this is the best option for you, we we'll leave you with the discount code PASSPORTER to save 5% on your purchase. But before you buy it, remember to check if your phone is eSIM compatible. In the description box, you'll find a list of compatible mobile phones. In case you're wondering how to use and install Olafly's eSIMs, the installation process is very simple and can be done on both Android devices and iOS devices. We advise you to install it before traveling because you will need an internet connection for this process. However, you can leave it installed and only activate it when you're already at your destination. For example, when you get off the plane so that your plan starts only when you're already on your trip. How to install the Olafly eSIM on iOS. Once you have completed the purchase, you will receive an email with a QR code that you will have to scan and that will automatically redirect you to the phone setting. Once the eSIM is installed, you will choose if you want to use it for travel or for work, and it will be ready to be used. The installation can also be done manually without the need for a computer, simply by writing a code in the settings of your mobile phone device that you can consult in the email or in their app, which is very convenient to control the duration of the data plan. How to install the Olafly eSIM on Android. This process will probably vary depending on your mobile phone model, but I am sure it's very similar to the one I'm going to show you. So, first you go to settings, look for connection, then go to SIM card manager. Add mobile card, scan the QR code, and the option to install the eSIM will appear automatically. Be careful, once you have installed your eSIM, make sure that the data is deactivated, just like in this image. What other options do I have to connect to the internet in Austria if my mobile phone is not eSIM compatible? There are other methods to have internet in Austria, such as eSIM comparison table, pocket, and roaming. Roaming offered by the telecom companies, which is the most expensive option, the main operators offer options from seven to 12 euros approximately for 100 megabytes, which would mean from 70 to 120 euros per giga, which is a totally excessive price. Pocket Wi-Fi is the second most expensive option because you have to pay for the internet rate, rent the equipment, pay insurance and shipping costs, plus it's a more uncomfortable option in terms of portability, and its battery is usually limited to a maximum of six hours. It is a minimum of 60 euros per week, plus shipping and insurance. They are usually long-term contracts, but it is an option that allows you to share the internet. In Austria, you can find free Wi-Fi hotspots in airports, cafes, hotels, and restaurants. However, these networks are vulnerable to hacking, so we recommend that you limit their use to a minimum, and avoid making transactions that put your personal data at risk. Buying a SIM card from local companies is a more expensive option and will limit the amount of data you can use. And you will also have to show your documents to sign a contract and remove the regular SIM card, so you won't be able to keep your number. This has been our experience with internet connectivity in Austria. And as a community of travelers, we hope it has helped you in traveling.